Let's do it right this time. Do it, we do it right. Come here, crab. Ah. There we go. Oh! Man, poor timing on my jump. Stop it, you! So that's one problem with the fire, is, is it auto-regenerates. So that's good if you're at close range, but it's bad if you're trying to fire a long-distance shot. Because you can accidentally reset it. Well, I do think the armor is helping me out a little bit here, so... Not all bad. I'll be doing this live stream for about an hour, maybe a little more. It's kind of quiet tonight, so don't really have a whole lot of people to interact with, but I'm okay with that because this game is just fun to play no matter who's watching. In fact, there was a day where Sir Crunch streamed this very same game, and I stayed on with him for many multiple hours as we reminisced about playing it on the Sega Master System and how things were upgraded for this version, but how also a lot of the things we remembered were exactly the same. Alright. I think I should be okay now, even if I fall into the ocean again, because I should be able to just get spring bounced back all the way up. But I won't. I ain't going out like that. I ain't a sucker. And the snakes will upgrade too. Some of them will actually leap forward at you, and some of them will take multiple hits to kill. So here we are back at the beginning of the beach. I can take this door back to the central area. And now I can buy the mithril armor. I don't remember if that was an upgrade or not. Yeah, the goblin mail is better. So actually, whatever you bought is what you get equipped with. I have to stand and correct myself here on that, that it automatically switches you even if it's a lower grade item. So you always want to check your inventory for your armor and make sure you got the right stuff. Now it's time to use the key, unlock the tower, and go up. Because we've got some challenges ahead. We've got more dragons to face. The Mecha Dragon was not the only dragon in this game. There are many multiple dragons that you have to fight. Each one is a boss in its own right. Now you can actually go both directions here. You can go left and right, but the way you want to go, you'd figure it out uh, even if I didn't say so. You want to go to the left because you go to the right, you're going to face enemies that are a little too hard for you to beat with the current equipment and level. I'm not saying it couldn't be done, I'm just saying it would be really, really, really tedious and painful to go to the right right now. You want to level up a little bit before you do that. Because basically you could be one hit killed by some of the stuff that's off to the right. So not the greatest idea. We've got some nice parallax scrolling going on in this modernized version. Got the layer we're running on in the front, we've got the pyramids in the background got the sky beneath that, behind that I should say. Sometimes words get mangled when you're trying to play a video game and live stream discuss it at the same time. But we've got a very nice ancient Egypt feel, I guess I would say, to this. Kind of looks like BC. Lots of pillars, lots of Monuments, lots of pyramids, good stuff. And there is an ocean area underneath there, but I'm not going to go do that right now. That's a, another for later thing to do. Good, I needed that heart. Did you see me deck that fireball there? Pretty slick, huh? And then I immediately get creamed. Oh well. Another heart though, that always helps. And there's another pesky cloud coming up here. 
Got him. And there's yet another one. Spoing. If I can get over him, there's actually a hidden area on the other side of this pyramid. This is one of the first secrets I discovered when I was playing Wonder Boy 3 on the Sega Master System and it blew my mind. I was like, holy crap, you mean there's actually something over here on the other side? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. That guy always drops a money bag. If you need to generate a lot of money, he's a good way to do it. So this gives you an extra heart of life. And if I had the right kind of weapon, I could break these blocks and go to even another secret. But right now, I don't have them, so I can't do that. So, we're done on this side of the pyramid for now. For now, I say. Now we're going to end up going inside this pyramid. And there is a station in there where I can restore my health, and I definitely will need to do that. Using that is kind of a way to cheese the cloud. You can avoid him just by bouncing along, so to speak. Now we are in the pyramid proper. Not MC Hammer proper, just regular proper. More of these pig guards. That's one of the nice enhancements of this version is the pigs actually make grunty noises. I do approve of that. Unfortunately, these little things don't give you anything. And here's where I can restore my health. The cost goes up over time. This one is relatively cheap, but it will get more pricey as we go further along. And another key! You always have to remember to explore in both directions or you might miss something. So here's our very first boss area. We're going to face a dragon. Even though we are a dragon. As you can see from the color of the frogs, the red ones aren't too bad, the green ones take a little more hits. As long as you time them, they aren't too bad, but when you got multiple frogs at once, then it can get a little pesky. Especially when you're trying to dodge things that are spitting fireballs at you. Like here, for example. An extra heart, that helps. Now, there are some trick floors in this pyramid, so sometimes when you drop down, you actually end up falling through something to keep in mind as we go forward here. You know, I have to say, I think I like playing this better on the PS4 than the Switch. The PS4 controller just feels more natural. It's not like using a Sega Master System controller, because that's what I grew up knowing it with, but it feels more like a... like a regular controller. I mean, the Joy-Con is not a terrible thing, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking it. It's just, sometimes for platforming games, you want something a little more like this. Because it enables you to get a little more finesse when you're trying to make jumps. And then that way you can avoid hits, like I just did there for that entire section. And then I got rocked immediately after that, so I shouldn't brag too much. I think we're coming up on our trick floor area here. I believe it's pretty soon. Yeah, this is it. Was it to the left or to the right? 